cover the streets of Reno, just like we're gonna do to you, Paul Isadora and Malachi. Let's go, man. I believe Adam was holding his horn for approximately eight to nine seconds before she continued to back into us. I understand that. This is the Reno Scum, and we're at our favorite electronic store. It's the best on South Virginia, where you can buy all your holiday merchandise. <laughs> they work this thing. But we're done with you too. Drink it here, and David's in the sewer. See Paul and Malachi finishing off those beers and finishing that game of pool. That's a lot harder than beating the two of you. That's the way it's going down. Well, have I got a treat for you. Jay Biggs ha has not shown up for work for some uh, god-awful reason. And in the studio with me today is none other than the putrid, disgusting Reno Scum. Say hello, gentlemen. The Reno Scum's in the building, and we got a special treat for the biggest little wrestling show tonight. Oi! Oi! I have no idea what that means or what you two are doing here but we're gonna try and get through the commentary of this match as you can see that is D unit of the suburban commandos making his debut in the biggest little wrestling show now gentlemen I know that you guys specialize in tag team wrestling and you faced these guys before what are your thoughts of them it's a little odd that D-Unit would come to the ring without his partner and twin brother T-Rent. I never go anywhere without Lust of the Legend. We've been up and down the road with the Suburban Commandos as a unit, they're called, and, uh... But we're still, we're still the greatest tag team in professional wrestling. It doesn't get any better than Adam Thornstow and Lust of the Legend, the Reno scums. Who's up next? His opponent coming to the ring, Jody Christopherson. Now he's developing quite... Yeah, Jody's our boy. He's good guy, good guy. Look at the cartoon wardrobe that he brings to the ring. Of course, he is developing quite the reputation here in the RWF, but quite frankly, I'm not impressed. Jody's actually one of the top heavyweights in uh, the Reno Wrestle Factory. He's one of the top heavyweights in all the West Coast, and uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I still don't think he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe if his partner Derek Sanders was here. American Pride, I don't think they, they'd give the Reno Scum a run for their money, but, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the Reno Scum, we'd stomp their skulls in just like everybody else. That's the legend. Anything to add to your partner? What about Jody? Anything up to this point. I like his dad's music sometimes uh, when I'm uh, on a long car drive. I listen to it too when I'm moving my bowels in the restroom. This matchup set to start here, one-on-one -on -one contest, 10-minute TV time limit. Look at it. I can't get over it where uh, Joey Christopherson gets his ring gear. It's quite simple. He's like a cartoon character. What do you think D-Unit's wearing? It looks like a nylon panty on his head. The Suburban Commandos have been wearing that style of Bay Area gear for, for nearly 10 years now, and they've accomplished quite a lot in tag team wrestling. Quarter and elbow to stop the matchup. The bigger D-Unit. He looks like he was having a wardrobe malfunction already. That's right. That's what it is. See, uh, Jody, I think, has got the endurance on this match, for sure. He's definitely, look at him, showing his charisma, even though uh, if, if, I, if I was Jody, uh, I, would, I would concentrate on trying not to get his head kicked in. You know, if I, I, if I was in the ring with uh, D-Unit right now, I'd take that pantyhose right off his head and I'd punch it right down his throat. 
Uh, you know, uh, it's easier said than done. My, uh, my. Uh, oh, we've done it. Not on, uh, not in Reno. Not on the biggest little wrestling show. We'll do it again, just for you, John. Let's see if I can do Pixie's job. Looks as he's challenging. We'll go off the ropes here. Jody hits him with a big shoulder tackle. Unit challenging him again. Here it comes. Boom! Full head of speed. Nothing. Nothing. He, he must be used to cow tipping in Texas. Ooh. That's no steer in there. Uh, that's the unit. Look at these shots here. I've been on the receiving end of a few of those from D Unit. Not fun. Oh. I don't think I've been in the ring with Jody before. No. Ooh. Knife edge chop by D Unit. Stretching him in the corner now. Leveling him with that knife edge chop. D Unit in control here. Adam, something to say. Whips him into the corner. Hey, oh, put up the boot. Jody Christopherson on top now. Oh, big shoulder tackle. Huge knock the big guy right off his feet. D-Unit doesn't want to Jody Christopherson right now. See, D-Unit, he's pandering outside. He, he's afraid of Jody. Jody's just a big man. He, he's young. He's hungry. D-Unit's been doing... What is he doing? Looks like he's hiding under the ring, Adam. What a... What a I almost, I almost swore there on television. Sorry about the little kitties. If you guys could watch your language on TV, this... This show is 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 kid friendly, and D Unit back inside the ring. Jody Christopherson had no idea. Oh, devastating move! Looks like he got a second wind right there after Jody knocked him out of the ring with a big shoulder tackle. He hit under the ring, and uh, D Unit's back on top. Grabs him by the waist, shoves his body right in. Oh, beautiful chops! Oh, disgusting! Look at the face of Jody Christopherson. Man, it's like it's another whole nother match here. He seems really refreshed. I don't know what was under the ring. Maybe he had a Red Bull or something. Oh, big chop by Jody, still on top. So far, uh, I think Jody's handling himself pretty well. I don't think you saw it going this way, did you, John? No, I didn't. A D unit of the Suburban Commandos has quite the experience level of a Jody Christopherson. Oh, look at that devastating clothesline out of the corner. Hit him right in the face. Jody, Jody made a rookie mistake right there. He had D-Unit against the ropes, and he backed all the way up, and D-Unit exploded out of the corner and took his head off. Jody's got to learn in later years that you've got to stay on your opponent. You never want your opponent away from you, and now Jody's starting to pay for it right now. Oh, yeah. He almost got pinned there, actually. Really close two count. Close to a three. I mean, it was a two count. You know what I mean, John. I've got to dumb down my intelligence so I can understand you guys. You know, last show I was here, you made a little comment about the size of my brain. I wasn't too happy with there, pal. Actually, I was talking about Mustafa's brain, but we don't hear, we don't have you here for you, uh, your intelligence. It is the unit winding up. Oh, Jody said to right back out of the ring. Jody Christopher said, never say die. He's always ready to fight. And look at this, D-Unit hiding again under the ring. Maybe he's going for another one of those Red Bulls or maybe a Four loco that they're taking off the shelves this holiday. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. No, no, check out that tattoo. Wait a minute. Wait, no, that. You know what? D-Unit. It's been D-Unit the entire time, you bumbling buffoons. John, are you blind? I... I think D-Unit and T-Rent have been switching every time they go outside and under the ring. I think they're playing tricks on Jody Christopherson. this, Jody's in trouble. I, I, what I believe I to be D-Unit, D-Unit on the top rope looking for a... Nobody should do a frog splash except for the rock legend scum. Clothesline by Jody Christopherson. Big drop kick. Got him in the corner now, Jody. Oh, oh he, he really ate that elbow. D-Unit springboard and showing some agility for- Oh! Did you see the impact on that? Come on, Jody! One! Two! Oh! That's close! How did D-Unit kick out of that, John? I think he kicked out of it because he switched with T-Rent underneath the ring! Well, let me tell you something, Rock Legend Scum. You shouldn't think too- There it is! There it is! Did you see that? I saw both of them! You guys shouldn't think too much. You might pass out. Come on, Jody! I'm telling you, the ref can't see him! He's right there! Ref, turn around! You can see it! He's got him! He's got his foot! Jody! Jody has been screwed tonight! Don't tell me you didn't see that, John! 
I could not concentrate on anything visual with you two buffoons blabbing your... Look at that! Both of the Suburban Commandos are out there right now! What do you see now, John? Well, obviously, I see a victory for the Suburban Commandos. What, what, what a way to make a statement here. The Suburban Commandos, if they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Reno scum, eye-to-eye, -eye, we would stomp their skulls into the mat, and Jody's going to confront them right now. Look at that. See that? Jody, oh! Oh, the Suburban Command, uh-oh. Oh, I think that's called the Thiz Bomb right there, I'm pretty sure. Invented in the Bay Area of California, the Suburban Commandos have made a statement on the biggest little wrestling show tonight, that is for sure. Jody Christopherson should have just rolled out of the ring and took in his defeat like a man but he tried to tried to one up the commandos and he's probably got a broken jaw he might you know i'm not gonna lie me and adam there's a few times we bent the rules to win and uh you're right john those are your winners hey those are your winners this i'm gonna say it this one time there you go good job guys but they could never beat the reno scum never Look at these dancing fools. I love to dance all over their face and scream, Oi, oi. Oh, you oh. talk, you talk, commandos. Talk is cheap. And we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. You love wrestling. You've always wanted to be a part of it. But you just don't know where to start. It doesn't just have to be a dream anymore. You can do more than just watch wrestling. You can be wrestling. There's only one reputable wrestling school in Northern Nevada, and that school is the Reno Wrestle Factory. So get off your couch and give Reno Wrestle Factory a call and start living your dream today. Hey, Ference, what are you doing? Oh, this is my first Sands dollar. I'm pretty proud of it. In fact, I had to get it frank. Don't most people redeem Sands dollars for meals, merchandise, even free play? Did you say free play? Beer. The best four-letter word you've heard all day. Enjoy an ice-cold bottle domestic for just 99 cents. Because at the Sands, it's all good. Why did you do that? Because it's good as cash. Hi. Welcome to Stingray Tattoo, Reno's oldest tattoo studio. We also do body piercing. We are currently having a sale on textures and tan tops for 50% off. Please check us out on StingrayTattoo.net or Facebook. At Stingray Tattoo, all we do is custom tattoos. Professional wrestling, Professional wrestling is not for everybody. It's not it for takes everybody. hard work. It's hard work. Dedication. Dedication. And a will to, and survive. A will to survive. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. If you want to be the if best. If you want to be the best, you have to train with the best. Train at the Reno Wrestle Factory. At the Factory. Reno Wrestle Factory. Zodiac Sign Company for all your signage needs, including vehicle wraps, banners, ADA signage, digital printing, cut vinyl, three-dimensional letters, hand painting, and custom design. The Zodiac Sign Company, serving the Reno Sparks area since 1999. For more information, call 775-324-0799. What's Beach Hut Deli? It's the freshest ingredients. The most unique sandwiches. It's eight micro brews on tap. It's Beach Hut Deli, the best sandwiches on earth. Coffee Express, 1730 Shaber Avenue, one block north of Baldini's. Our services include black and white copying, color laser copying, graphic design, full service printing, copywriting and editing, laminating, large format prints, courtroom exhibits, legal duplicating and attorney support services. With over 60 years combined experience, we provide impeccable, quality, speedy, professional service. Friendly, knowledgeable staff, client confidentiality guaranteed. 
and we're back here for the biggest little wrestling show with the greatest color commentator in wrestling history, John Billington with the Reno Scum. Here comes Mustafa, and if I know Mustafa, he's got something to say to the cameras. You see that? Mustafa Saeed right there. The man who trained Lust of the Legend and myself, Adam Thornso. And you're going to get a little preview of the ruthlessness that Mustafa showed us. Because on December 11th, the Reno scum in a Reno street fight, we're going to take it to Paul Isadora and Malachi, and we're going to do it just like this man taught us. You know what I've noticed so far is he's, he speaks just like you guys. You sound like well, you've got marbles in your mouths. That's what living on the streets does to you, John. It makes your life harder. You know, all that stress. You should have heard me. I sounded like a baby boy that hadn't gone through puberty yet before I started stepping in a wrestling ring. And uh, who's Mustafa's opponent tonight, John? Well, uh, a guy by the name of the Frisco Flame. You know, I'm still searching for an, explana an explanation of uh, what, what this gentleman's all about. Well, I'll give you an explanation, John. I heard when Frisco was born, his father wanted a boy and his mother wanted a girl, and they were both really happy. It, this is not too far from the truth. You know, in the UK, he, he, he probably wouldn't even get on the car. What is this guy wearing to the ring? I am, I am just offended. I am flabbergasted. Why are the fans reaching to touch his bosom? Slut gut. What, uh, what, what, what is, what, I have, oh my, is that, is that blip, what, oh my god, oh this is disturbing. Oh, this is pro wrestling. Can we even show this on the biggest little wrestling show, John? Well, it, it's on, I'm not in charge of the uh, production or anything like that, the referee seems to uh, be flabbergasted as well. Oh my god. The referee doesn't want to check him for weapons, and I don't think uh, any anybody in this panel would do the same either. You know, the Reno scum will get inside your head, but I think this man's gone a little too far. I'm speechless. I mean, look at this. I mean, I wonder if he enjoys being searched. What do you think, John? you think he enjoys being searched? Well, of course he likes to be filtered by another man. And, and, uh, now, on the other hand, Mustafa looks like he's been searched by a white man a time or two. I can't believe you just said that, John. If Mustafa hears you say that, or he hears that you even said it, in fact, I might tell him. I want to see him bust your skull open. I want to see him make you bleed, John. You need to shut your dumb mouth and pay homage to Mustafa Saeed, the original gangster, because he's about to make short work of this Frisco flame. I mean, I hate to just talk smack about a guy, but look at Frisco. Look at him. You think he's got a shot in this match? Seriously? I mean, you're Mustafa Saeed, a legend in wrestling versus this guy. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my. I, I can't talk. You, you, you talk. Well, I'm at a loss for words. You know, I've done color commentary and uh, been in the wrestling business in, in the UK for over 30 years in this this match is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Look at the raw power of Mustafa. He's going to make short work of Frisco Flame. He's going to go home. He's going to go back. He's going to get his paycheck. He's going to go sip his orange juice with the ice in it. Mustafa's just going to have a good time here with the scum tonight in Reno. Well, if he's going to have a good time with his scum, he better have a bottle of Jack Daniels in a bottle of ones. But let me ask you a question. Is Frisco Flame having a good time with Mustafa Saeed at this point? I don't think so. I mean, look. He just got tossed across the ring and slammed into the mat. Anyone who thinks that's a great time or having a fun time, they might be a little, maybe sicker than me. Oh, gee, gee. God, what is this? He, he's disrespecting a legend, John. He is disrespecting a legend. You know, for once, I've got to agree with you. He's disrespecting my eyes as well. It, what was that, that blue diaper hanging out of the, his black pants is offensive. I, I don't... I, I, I have nothing to say about this, man. I hope Mustafa picks him up, slams him to the mat, and hits the one, two, three, 
and will be a Davidson's waiting for him. Does, does, let me ask you a question, gentlemen. Does Frisco Flame even have a finishing hold, a finishing move? What, what does he do to win his matchups? You're the color commentator, John. I don't know much about Frisco Flame, except for the fact that he doesn't dress in the back with the boys. I heard he uses the women's locker room. I heard he, when he goes out to eat, his favorite meal is the Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity. I hear he likes to hang out. Feeling Mustafa up! He is feeling Mustafa up. Like I said, he's disrespecting a legend, our trainer. But the one thing I have to say is, I don't know, maybe he's doing what few men can do, and he's actually getting into the head of Mustafa Saeed. Mustafa looks a little frustrated. He's complaining to the ref about Frisco groping him. Not that I blame him, but, you know, I, I got to give credit where credit's due. If you're going to get inside the head of Mustafa, that's a tall task. That's a dangerous task, if you ask me. I don't want to be in the head with the mind of that man. Well, it might be dangerous, but I, I know it's not going to be that difficult. I mean, I've picked his brain before. And look how sick of an individual I have become. That's for sure. Mustafa there, he's just choking him in front of the rep. And I think he's a little hesitant to warn Mustafa to stop. Well, uh, Mustafa's picking him up here. Big right hand to the temple. Actually, that's not the temple. That's more the front of the face. We don't have you. We don't yeah, shut up, John. Come on, Mustafa. Put him away the power slam so we don't have to see this weirdo anymore. Oh, there you go. He might have liked that. Mustafa trying maybe to get into the head of the Frisco Flame. Again. Oh, man. Mustafa, big clothesline, and Frisco Flame is down on the mat. I'm sure he's used to being down on a lot of things. What do you think, John? You know, I've got to agree with that as well, but what I, what I, what I. For not liking me very much, you sure seem to be agreeing with me a whole lot more. Well, you know, I don't have to like you to agree with you with a guy like Frisco. Yeah, come on, Adam. I mean, I mean, come on, Adam. You're not letting him do his job. My job is to... Your job is to sit there and call the action. Don't you know that, John? Well, if I... If you could what, John? If I... If you could what, John? Are you going to watch Mustafa destroy the Frisco flame? I'm trying to get a word in it. I don't think you need to get a word in. You're still fixated on the Frisco flame in his body. I heard you like every time he puts that glitter on. I don't have a response for that, but Frisco Flame has got quite an interesting style of wrestling. Is that that British style that you're used to, John? Is that what you're talking about? The catches catch can style of professional wrestling has been around since the 1870s. Did you show Frisco some holds earlier on? Is that what's going on? Maybe I should. Maybe I could turn him into... Maybe you should pay attention and watch Mustafa Saeed rearrange the Frisco Flame's face. If he could start with his hair, I will definitely be a proponent of that. Big body slam by Mustafa Saeed, getting closer. Oh, Frisco Flame moved out of the way with the quickness of, of a drag queen running down the street in San Francisco being chased by a gang of thugs. Well, I'll tell you, the biggest gang of thugs is sitting right next to you because that man right there, Mustafa Saeed, even though he ate a right hand right there, he showed us everything he knows. And Paul Isidore and Malachi, December 11th, you show up because the scum is united. And united we survive. Divided we die. I'm surprised Frisco's got this much offense in on uh, Mustafa myself. He slipped a drop kick in there going for a what appears to be a sleeper hold. He's got it nice and tight and deep. Oh, what am I saying? Actually, he's got it not locked on the reversal by Mustafa with an arm drag. He really powered out of that, too. Frisco, he looks hurt. Mustafa, this could be his chance. He's getting the crowd into it. And uh, I think Mustafa going to rise to his feet here. He's, gonna, he's getting ready to take it to Frisco Flame now. Here he comes to the corner. And big right hand. He drops Frisco with one punch. You see the strength of that, John? Oh, I see the strength. But, oh, look at the speed of Frisco Flame jumping out of the way like a... Like a, like a damsel in distress. I tell you, this guy's something weird. That damsel in distress is jumping off the middle rope with his entire body going with pinning combination. That's one of Mustafa's moves, actually. He almost beat him with his own move. You're right. You almost did, John. I think Frisco now is trying to add insult to injury to this legend, Mustafa Saeed, our trainer. Mustafa getting up to his feet now, and he eats a right hand by Frisco, but can't take him off his feet. Oh, wild swing. I, I hope Mustafa's all right. He almost caught him. You know, I've heard Frisco Flames 
got a, a background in boxing and with those right hands you can definitely tell. He just kissed Mustafa on the head. Just don't oh it's repulsive. You really think that hurt him? Well, I guess he's not a girl. I, I'm still not convinced that he's not a girl, Lusser. You will never convince me. His Peter Pan boots have confused me all night. Peter Pan boots? Uh, where did he get them? High spots, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there, John. I don't think you got those off high spots or... ProWrestlingBoots.com. Whatever website. But while you're at it, after this match, go ahead and check out www.RenoWrestleFactory.com for all updates on all of our upcoming shows and videos. You guys are some corporate, corporate whores, if you ask me. Mustafa. Just Adam. Just me. I, I seem to recall a uh, Les Schwab tire commercial. Yeah. All right, all right. You got me there. But uh, Mustafa's back on top here. And uh, I think he's got Frisco where, he's, where he wants him. You know, if Frisco would have done about 2,000 more sit-ups before he came to this match, his core would have been able to take that move, but apparently not. Look at Mustafa's core strength. I mean, you can just see it. The abs, you know, Frisco nowhere near. Here's a guy half his age and in better shape than him. How does that make Frisco feel? Maybe you gotta ask. Go, power slam! This is it right here, and it's over. I would bet all the money in the world on it. Two, three, world famous Mustafa Saeed power slam. Just like I called it last time, John. Just like I called it last time. There he is, the man, Mustafa Saeed. I'd like to see Mustafa wrestle in the UK. I don't know how well he would fare. I think he would hurt them. <laughs> I think he's been to the UK before. What was that story he told us a while? The guy with the patch eye or something like that. I don't remember the characters, the cat's name. Oh, look at, look at, look at him get down with the camera. A little taunt. It did look quite easy for Mustafa. Listen up, idiots. We're going to take a commercial break. If you want tickets for December 11th to put the headlock on hunger for the biggest little wrestling show, go to www.RenoWrestleFactory.com and tell them the scum said. You love wrestling. You've always wanted to be a part of it. But you just don't know where to start. It doesn't just have to be a dream anymore. You can do more than just watch wrestling. You can be wrestling. There's only one reputable wrestling school in Northern Nevada. And that school is the Reno Wrestle Factory. So get off your couch and give Reno Wrestle Factory a call and start living your dream today. Hi, welcome to Stingray Tattoo, Reno's oldest tattoo studio. We also do body piercing. We are currently having a sale on textures and tent tops for 50% off. Please check us out on StingrayTattoo.net or Facebook. At Stingray Tattoo, all we do is custom tattoos. Deli, it's the freshest ingredients. The most unique sandwiches. It's eight micro brews on tap. It's Beach Hut Deli, the best sandwiches on earth. Coffee Express, 1730 Shaber Avenue, one block north of Baldini's. Our services include black and white copying, color laser copying, graphic design, full service printing. 
copywriting and editing, laminating, large format prints, courtroom exhibits, legal duplicating, and attorney support services. With over 60 years combined experience, we provide impeccable, quality, speedy, professional service. Friendly, knowledgeable staff. Client confidentiality guaranteed. December 11th, at the Evelyn Mount Community Center. Call this Adora, Malachi. Get ready. Get ready for the fight of your life. The Reno Street fight ain't gonna be easy. Cause you see, it could end up ending in the building. It could end up ending right here in Fulton Alley. Right here in Fulton Alley, where we lay you two at our feet and put our boots through your skulls. Isadora, if you wanted out to scum all you had to do was ask. You didn't have to stab us in the back the way you did. You didn't have to act like this right here, Isadora. You Malachi, bunches of bastards. You want to stab us in the back? Maybe you forgot our code, Paul. Brass knuckles and switchblades. You want to stab us in the back? United we survive, divided we die. Me and Adam, we're still standing side by side, taking on the world. You made it clear, Isadora. You're a sellout. You never were scum. Watch the way you with your frat buddies. Huh? We'll still sit here out on the streets, busting heads. Drinking beers and breaking bones. Especially breaking bones. I might just have to do that on the 11th. I hope you boys are ready. Cause the scum, we are ready. And we're back here for the main event on the biggest little wrestling show from Reno, Nevada. And the greatest commentator in wrestling history is here. John Billington. And for some reason management has stuck me with the Reno scum. Entering the ring right now is El Chupacabra, Virgil Flynn, and Super Tiger. You know, if, uh, oh, well, well, did you want to say something, Lust of the Legend? You know, I've never seen this Super Tiger before. Have you seen him, John? I've never seen his work. Only in the zoo. The zoo. You saw that guy. You know that's a guy that's not a real tiger out there. He looks like the, uh, what? Another corporate corporate commercialized wrestler on the biggest little wrestling show. I'm surprised by this. The fans really love Virgil and Chupi, don't they? Uh, they do, and I can't figure out why. They're a couple, couple heathens. Maybe because they're really nice guys, unlike you, you jerk. Well, that's your opinion. Just because I'm British does not mean that, I, that I'm a, a bit jerk or whatever. You just, oh, jerk. Come on, admit it. You look at me, you see big, strong, in-shape American, and that makes you mad, doesn't it? I see big and strong, but what I don't see is, is smart. Well, well, John, what do you see? Why don't you tell me who's going to be coming to the ring right now and maybe something a little about them, and then maybe I'll enlighten you about them. You want to talk about smart? You're not very smart talking to me like that, you British son of a bitch. Well, John, I think you really angered Lester the Legend. He just left the commentary booth, and, well, now you're stuck with me, and let's see who's coming to the ring right now. I still think you're an idiot. I still think you're an idiot. I still think you're an idiot. I don't care what you think of me, but by Lester the Legend leaving the match... Why don't you tell us who's coming to the ring? Obviously, that is Sheik Connor body with Sir Samurai and wrestling personified Rick Luxury with his manager... Marcus Mack of the Pink Mink Inc. You want to know a little scum fact about all six of the men in this match? I know one scum fact is you haven't showered today, but what's your fact? Well, I know one little British fact, and that's you haven't brushed your teeth in about 35 years. But that little scum fact is that out of Thornstow, myself, I've been in the ring with all six of these individuals. And you know what they all have in common? You know, John, what do they all have in common? Oh, I know. I've pinned every single one of them. You know, here's another little scum fact for you. That man right there, Rick Luxury and his manager, Marcus Mack, they used to team up with El Chupacabra and the Reno scum. We laid them to waste. We lay everybody to waste. 
You see Paul Isidore and Malachi, December 11, we're laying them to waste. But I'm going to focus on this action with six of the youngest, hottest up-and-comers in the Reno Wrestle Factory. This is going to be fast-paced and all up in your face. Are you ready for this action, John? I am ready, but you want to talk about tidbits of information in Fox. Here's a fact for you, Rock Legend scum. If it didn't happen in the RWF on the biggest little wrestling show, it does not matter. Well, you know, when Lust to the Left... Oh, here he comes back, actually. I hope he's actually cooled down, John. Yeah, I cooled down, Adam. Don't let him get under your skin. I heard a few comments he made towards uh, you earlier, and uh, I'm going to try to keep my cool this time around. Are you ready for this action, Lester? Any any combination of these men could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Reno Scum at any point on the biggest little wrestling show any week. You're right. We've been in the ring with a lot of these fellas here. Uh, Rick, Choop, uh... She, you, we put some hurtings to him before, too. But like I said, gentlemen, if it didn't happen here on the biggest little wrestling show, then it didn't happen. I agree with that, John. That's when uh, weeks to come, you're probably going to see us do it to all of them once again. Just so it happened in your mind. It didn't happen in front of my eyes. Well, let's get back to action. I don't know who's going to start here. Looks like Chupi's having an argument with Virgil. Shakespeare, Virgil, and Chupacabra aren't on the same page like Rick Luxury Samurai and Sheik Kona Body are. Now let me ask you a question, uh, scum. Do you have any predictions as far as this matchup? Um, let's see. We got Samurai, Rick Luxury, and Sheik versus Super Tiger I've never seen. He looks energetic. I'm going with Chupi's team. He's undefeated in the RWF. And, uh, well, so is Rick Luxury, right? I don't know. I, oh, my God. He just made a mistake right here in front of other people. He can't, it's not a good way to start up. You know, if Rick Luxury would learn to stick to wrestling, which he has an actual background in, and not trying to be flamboyant and showboating for the fans, he might get a lot more done. But look at how angry he gets at all those kids when they make fun of him. That's because he's missing teeth. He stinks bad. It's like he's cheerleading to try out for the Reno Scum. Well, Rick Luxury, you can go back to Sin City, and you could take your boyfriend Marcus Mack, and you could pick up that hitchhiker Frisco Flame, and you can all go have fun at the Excalibur and Camelot together. That's right. Vegas is for people like you, Rick. Here we go. Sir Samurai is going to start off with uh, Super Tiger. Super Tiger, new to the RWF. Sir Samurai, he's had a few matches here in the RWF and Sir Samurai he always has a few tricks up his sleeve but I've heard a lot of great things about the Super Tiger I know you all have I've been in the ring with him up and down the road I know you guys have never seen him and I've never told you about him Lester but this guy has a high risk arsenal he takes chances sometimes they pay off sometimes they don't we'll see if they cost Super Tiger here tonight maybe they'll even cost his entire team you didn't tell me about him all right well it looks like I'm gonna see him for the first time right here he's asking him to hold on Oh, there you go. Taking the shirt off. Much better physique than uh, Samurai, but Samurai looks to have a size, most likely uh, looking like a strength advantage. I've just seen 14-year-old girls drop with their jaws. It's probably the mask. It could be. So Samurai with a front face lock reversal by Black Tiger. Is it Super Tiger? Super Tiger. Look at the nice reversals by both competitors here. It is uh, confusing me. Oh, I see. It's like a big mouse. How about I call him Super Mouse Guy for the rest of the show? I don't think you should call him a mouse. I don't think he would like that. And uh, how about you just commentate, help commentate the match going? Look at Super Tiger right now. He's going hold for hold with Sir Samurai. Sir Samurai is trained down in Sacramento, California with some of the greatest. He can go hold for hold with the best of them, but you got to be impressed by Super Tiger. Look at the agility of the man kipping up right there. And he's got Sir Samurai. He's twisted his arm. He's definitely, uh, oh, look at the agility of Sir Samurai right there. And, well, showing off lands him right on his back. A story about Samurai. I once saw him. I believe it was Oregon. He jumped off a cage. I'm not lying. It looked to be about 30 feet in the air. Crossbody. I mean, I wouldn't do something like that. But this guy, he, he's pretty crazy when he wants to get crazy. 
Don't let Sir Samurai fool you. He's also a risk taker. Not as much as the uh, Super Tiger, Black Dynamite, Virgil Flynn, El Chupacabra, the Mexican Werewolf. These guys, they're going to dazzle you with their high-flying moves. Let's not take it away from Sheik Kanabadi or Rick Luxury, but uh, you look like you have something to say, John. I've seen Sir Samurai take 90 lashes from a stripper in Oregon as well. Sir Samurai is the closest thing I've ever seen to a sadist. He's quite the accomplished wrestler. I don't know if about sadists and strippers as much as I like talking about them, but we got a wrestling match in the ring here. And here comes Sheik Kana Body. Did I say that right there, John? You did. Which is surprising to me. What is also surprising to me is that you do not need a script. And here's Virgil Flynn. He's about to tie up with the Sheik. Speaking... I've seen these guys go back and forth for years up and down the West Coast. Here you see a test of strength by both guys, which I believe Sheik Khan would win hands down. Any team here, you know, if someone gets the advantage and one of these teams, well, one of these teams are going to win, but the winner of this contest is they're, they're going to go up in the rankings in the Reno Wrestle Factory. They're going to be featured more on the biggest little wrestling show. Winning is everything here. And on December 11th, the Reno Scum, we're going to win the Reno Street Fight. Tell them, Legend. Sorry to go off the street fight. The street fight's going to be crazy, but I think Sheik just bit Virgil Flynn. Do you see that, John? Well, you know, uh, he probably learned it from watching Chupacabra's matches. You can't keep his mouth closed. Here we go. Big drop kick by Virgil Flynn after two knees to the midsection. Virgil's got the crowd behind him. They just seem to love this guy. Black Dynamite Virgil Flynn has sent Sheik corner body running to Rick Luxury wrestling personified who's entering the wing the ring with a determined look on his face look at the miscommunication by Chupacabra and Virgil Flynn you know they've tagged before and they've had a history of miscommunication but what, what's surprising me right now is Chupacabra's got the goal to go to the rope and, and get some attention from the crowd when he's got a guy like Rick Luxury can time in and not at any second well, I'll have to agree with you John Chupacabra should know better than to turn his back on Rick Luxury Turn your back on your opponent. You never, never turn your back on your opponent. Unless you're the Reno scum, because if I turn my back, I know Lester's got my back. That's right, oh, he's got his back. Chupi's on top right now. Oh, was that the key? Was that a, that's a senton. Sorry about that. I'm a little off here. Go for it. In the face, you know, Rick Luggs, you might lose a tooth from something like that. Oh, the oh, shocker. shocker. That's disgusting. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta agree, it's a little disgusting. He might have learned that from the Frisco Flame, but nonetheless, it's effective. Forearms back in luxury, yep. Knee right to the breadbasket of the Mexican werewolf. And another one he follows up with, John. That's the thing about Rick Luxury, he stays on top of you at every moment. Rick Luxury looks to be taking apart the midsection and the neck of Chupacabra. That's going to cut off his high-flying offense. That's going to cut off his speed. It's going to take the wind out of him. It's going to make it harder for him to crawl and get to the tag. Rick Luxury, make no mistake about it, he is an accomplished professional wrestler. He is an athlete. Now he just eats double knees in the corner. Chupacabra now with a full head of steam, diving front sent on into Rick Luxury. Man, I can't imagine what that combo does to your sternum. First two knees in him. Then a senton was a, a roll, just like a tumbleweed into him. Here comes the mouse tiger versus Sir Sam. That's the super tiger, John. Would you give the guy some respect here? He hasn't earned my respect yet in the RWF. I don't care. Why don't you shut your big, fat, stinky mouth and watch the Super Tiger because he's going to take it to Sir Samurai right now. He's going to dazzle you with his high-flying moves. I'm dazzled by his appearance. He's actually kind of acting like a tiger or cat. You see some of those mannerisms he's doing? He's acting like a buffoon just like you got. How is referee Sparky Ballard letting all six competitors in this match is our head official going to get control of this who is the legal man john i have no idea but a bedlam has erupted here in the arena sir samurai in control laying the boots to black dynamite on, on the ground right now sir samurai now he's going to take control of virgil flynn and referee sparky ballard i i don't know what's going on with him right now Samurai just throws Virgil into the corner. He's sitting in his, 
Oh, Chupa tries to get back in the ring. Now Sparky's doing his job all of a sudden. Look at what's happening in the corner. That is dirty tricks. That is what Rick Luxury is known for. And I'm sure Sheik kind of body learned it as well. Anything to win a matchup is legal in my in my book. Oh, like earlier in the night when we saw the Suburban Commando switching in and out on Jody? I could not see anything during that match because you and Lust of the Legend, your tag team partner, were hogging the microphone. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Well, I don't care about that, John. What I'm going to care about right now is Rick Luxury going back to work on the neck now of Virgil Flynn. Rick Luxury has tons of offense. Oh, Virgil Flynn now. He's going to fight back. Watch the speed of Black Dynamite. If he, he gets out of the grasp, he, and he eats a knee to the midsection. Rick Luxury, see? He goes to the neck. He goes to the midsection. He has so many offensive maneuvers that can injure your neck, injure your back, injure your rib cage. Now Sir Samurai, and he's choking the life out of Black Dynamite. Look at Sheik Khan Abadi. They're doing this. Where is referee Sparky Ballard? He's, he's distracted. Chupacabra and at Super Tiger, they're, they're actually hindering Virgil Flynn right now. They're, they're letting the other team cheat. Yeah, they need to keep their cool in their corner. I know it's pretty hard sometimes when Adam's getting beat up. I just want to get in there. I don't like the way the ref's calling it, but Virgil's flying up right here. Oh, was that? That was the way he turned him inside out. That was like a palm strike. Devastating move by Sir Samurai, leveling Black Dynamite. Look at him going to the lower extremities now. Virgil Flynn is, is one of the more double teaming. Troops got to keep his cool and stay on the outside. I'm still in shock by that palm strike from Sir Samurai. He must have learned it in the Nabuki Khan Dojo that he was trained in as well as his previous training in Sacramento, California. Now I've got a question for you. Who, what, what team do you see is communicating to the best of their abilities? Well, I'll hand it to you. Sir Samurai, Rick Luxury, and Sheik Khan, they're on the same page. They're using the referee as an uh, advantage. Chupacabra and... Um, Super Tiger, they're, they're doing no. Oh, Virgil puts up a boot now. Here's his chance to the second rope. Big drop kick onto Sheik Khan. Sends him reeling into the other corner. Virgil's reaching for the tag. He's got to make that tag. I think he's going to get it, John. Oh, Samurai's in. Oh, Super Tiger's in. Back elbow. Hip toss. What a hip toss that was. Off the ropes. Big leg drop. One, two. Only got a two count. You know, I can relate with Virgil Flynn right there. There is nothing like getting beat down in a tag team contest, and then I finally crawl and I make that tag to Lester the Legend. Big back body drop. Oh, that's got to hurt. It looked like he landed right on his tailbone. I'm starting to see the speed and quickness of Super Targa. He's definitely, he might earn a roster. Did you just see that kick Rick Luxury gave him to the head? I think his eyes are in the back of his skull. Uh, Rick Luxury, that, that'll that turn the tide of a match right there. You know, it's illegal, but Rick Luxury, look at that, stomping on the skull. I am telling you, there's nothing like Rick Luxury. He is intelligent. He is what he says he is. He's wrestling personified. Sometimes he takes the easy way out. Well, he's got ring smarts. I don't know about, like, regular everyday smarts, but in the ring, he's definitely, uh, he's out -thunk a few opponents. Here comes Sir Samurai. Look at the athleticism running the ropes easily that was athleticism to you John of course it was it was simple to the point hit his opponent right in the face right in front of the referee well I'll give you that but now Sir Samurai takes Super Tiger and he throws him outside of the ring and look at this Sir Samurai playing the mind games you gotta watch out for Marcus Mack you always gotta watch out for Marcus he's gotten uh, involved in a few scum wars before and uh, you know paid the price for getting involved in some scum wars though. exactly he paid the price. Marcus Mack protects his investments. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, here we got Super Tiger on the mat. Tags in Rick Luxury. Come on, Sparky's got to get one of these guys out of the ring. Pinpoint precision accuracy with Rick Luxury as he stomps across the face of the Super Tiger. And I'm surprised Tiger's still fighting back. Guy's got a lot of heart here. Oh, right across the... Well, he don't have his brain. Oh, they're trading shots now. A oh, luxury just raked his eyes. And that's what I'm talking about right there. He may take the easy way out, but Lester, you know it. That is smart wrestling right there. You know, it, it got the job done. Obviously, Sparky's not enforcing the rules, so why not break them? This is the biggest little wrestling show. This is the Reno Wrestle Factory. 
And sometimes, you, you know it, Luster, Sparky Ballard, the head official, is lax on the rules. These guys are really making Sparky look stupid right now. Look, he hasn't disqualified him because obviously sheet corner body and Rick Luxury are too intimidating of wrestlers that if, if, if Sparky was to throw... Oh, beautiful knee across the throat of Super Togo by Sheik Connor Body, who's in definite, in definite control. I'm not sure if that was the throat or if that was actually the side of the head. Rick Luxury, Sheik, and Sir Samurai have been laying in the shots to Super Tiger's head. They may be trying to throw his equilibrium off so he can't hit those high-risk offensive maneuvers. He just ripped a piece of... He just ripped a handful of hair right out of his chest. Oh, He's still on top, though. You know, getting back to Sparky, I don't want to take anything away from Sparky. He's a great ref. I couldn't do his job. Have you ever seen a stalling North? Now Chupacabra into the ring, playing a little playback to Rick Luxury's team. Uh, Sir Samurai, she got a body. They've been cheating this whole match. Well, like I said earlier, they've been getting away with it. So if I was getting away with it, I would continue to cheat myself. I agree to that. It's not like the scum hasn't taken a few shortcuts at our time. Look at Rick Luxury running the ropes. I'm surprised that he can actually run that fast. Rick Luxury moving for the uh, the bigger midsection. I heard he did just get married, so maybe that's a few of the uh, honeymoon pounds for him right there. How dare you when Rick Luxury hears about you making a, a, a comment about his impeccable physique. You, you want to hear making? I made Rick Luxury. I'll say it on the biggest little wrestling show. You've had some great matches in, 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 in other companies, but not here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Definite control. Super Tiger makes a move. Shikon, what? Too, too wise for that. Goes to the top rope now. He might be... Oh, what's he doing? Oh, with a drop kick right in the face of Shikon Obadi. Both competitors down. Sparky Ballard starting the count. She, I don't know if he caught him in the face, John, or if he, Sheik's holding his midsection, but he's got to make the tag, and this is Super Tiger's chance right here to make the tag to either a fresh black dynamite, or here comes El Chupacabra flying forearm. Big spinning heel kick to Sir Samurai. Sheik kind of body doesn't, oh, kick to the midsection. Here we go. Big suplex. Sir Samurai still dazed and confused when that heel kick, and uh, here comes Sh Chupi and he, he runs off of both of them. Tornado DDT on Rick Luxury. This man is so innovative. I've never seen nothing like that before in the wrestling ring. Never. And the crowd's behind him. I don't like the look. No, I think they're going to go aerial right here. High risk. Here's those high risk maneuvers I was talking about. Here we go. Super Tiger over the top. Chupi and Virgil from the corner. Holy Buster Belize. That was intense. And I can't believe that I just saw such a crazy, intense, daredevil, high-risk maneuvers. Chupacabra in the ring. He's waiting on Sir Samurai, I think, to get back in. I have no idea who the legal man is even in. Well, Sir Samurai now and Chupacabra in the ring. He peppers him with a forearm. Goes to Sir Samurai, reverses. He's got him up, and uh, I think he, he's going to hit him with that, uh, that rolling DDT. Oh. Ow. How is right, Lester, the legend? You fit the nail right on the head. It looked like it could have broke his nose. Virgil Flynn, Samurai doesn't see him. Big drop kick. He's going up top. What's he going to do here? This is why they call him Black Dynamite 450 Splash. He doesn't go for the pin, though. What? Come on, Virgil. Um, she caught a body to finish the job. Uh-oh. What? Reversal. Reversal. Full Nelson, oh! Sparky breaks up the pin. Sorry, fans. Super Tiger now, he's he's showboating to the crowd and he doesn't see Rick Luxury behind him. You always got, oh no. Here comes Rick Luxury. And he's setting him up for what about the lap of luxury. I've experienced that and I've landed right on my head. Rick Luxury, I'll give it to him, has even gotten a win over me with that move. But why is nobody going for the cover? Troopy. Here comes Troop. Big martial arts kick. There it is. This is it. Adios. One, two, three. God, what a devastating, exciting match here. Chupacabra, Super Tiger, and Virgil Flynn are your winners. Marcus Mack is livid. But I'll tell you what, those three individuals who just won that match, they're going to move up the ranks really quick here in this lightweight division that we got. 
in the Reno Wrestle Factory on the biggest little wrestling show. I, I can't believe what I've just seen. It, it, the action was moving so fast. Someone please give Marcus Mack a volume because he is quite upset. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Reno Scum, and this has been the biggest little wrestling show. We'll see you next week.